what is up you guys welcome back to my channel so today is the day that i'm gonna be working on my girls boo baskets this tradition kind of started last year due to covid we we're unable to go trick-or-treating i decided to just surprise them with uh, something a little special and so now this tradition is just kind of carrying on with us so this will be my second year making them a boo basket just wanted to show you guys some of the things that i picked up that i'm going to try to incorporate in the basket i don't know if all this stuff is going to be able to fit because i did pick up quite a few things but i'm going to try to make it work and i just wanted to turn the camera on and share this with you guys bring you along and show you how i put it together i'm going to show you everything that i have first and then kind of how i put things together i do the same thing for their easter basket so this is kind of like a halloween easter basket basically is what it is first things first i have a couple of goodies in this little bucket here that i've been stashing things trying to keep it hidden from them so they don't see Pete the Cat book, Happy Halloween, Pete the Cat. And then I also have this Eric Carle Happy Halloween book from The Very Busy Spider. This one is kind of big, so I don't know if that one's gonna work or not, but I'm gonna try to get it in there. My girls are big Pete the Cat fans, so this is definitely gonna be a great one. Then I'm also planning to add in these little popcorns from Popcornopolis. These are so cute. I love to get the different holidays, so I always pick up a bag of the Halloween ones. So I'm gonna be adding these into their baskets. Then I picked up these little wooden pumpkins. Both my girls love to paint and get very creative. So I picked up these two little plain wooden pumpkins and I'm going to put these in there as well so they can just decorate them and have fun with these. So this came as a two pack at Target for $5. So I'll just be separating them and giving them one each. I found these little Halloween goodie bags at Walmart and it has, I may be opening these up, I'm not sure. So it has like a little yo-yo, a whistle, some teeth some glasses and a little skeleton and a ball so i don't know that i will keep everything in here it's 10 pieces i may take them out then i found these at the target dollar spot these are halloween cotton candies i thought these were perfect it came in a three pack and it's not much at all it's just like a little piece so that'd be good i don't really like adding a lot of sugar or candy to this because they're typically going to go trick-or-treat anyways i usually do more like clothes or socks or crafty things, toys, things like that. So I also picked up the Silly Scent Sand that they can scope and play with. They definitely love things like this. So I got them those two. Also picked up some socks, Halloween socks, of course. This one says, I put a spell on you. And this one is just like a jack-o'-lantern scary face pumpkin. Those two are for Tatiana. And then I got one, some smaller ones for Ava. Smell my feet and booyah. Thought those were cute. These were also from Target Dollar Spot. Then I found these boo silly straws. These were also at the Target Dollar Spot. These are really cute. Those are cute. Then I got them these fake little fingers that they're gonna be they're gonna have fun playing with those. And I also picked up these creepy graveyard puzzles. Both of them enjoy puzzles. I will probably have to help Ava with hers. These are kind of small, but I think that Jenna is really gonna enjoy these. She loves doing puzzles. And they're in this little cute test tube type of thing. So that's really cute. These were also at the dollar target spot. Then I picked up these really cute Disney Halloween straws. We are huge Disney fans. And their whole theme is like Mickey and Minnie Halloween. So I thought these would be really a really cute addition. Then I also got some sticky spiders to just um, put in there. I'll be separating these. This is a 12 count, so I'll save some for next year. I picked them up some glow in the dark wands. One is a bat and one is a pumpkin. Also got some coloring books. These are Mickey Halloween, of course, Disney because that's just that's just our jam these cups so this one is jack skeleton because i couldn't find another mickey one but it's still disney so got these they're gonna be really cute it says come alive for halloween and then it has mini witch on there and this one just has jack and sally thought those were really cute let's talk about their baskets 
So I got these baskets. They're the same because that's the only options they had. So they have Minnie on there. She's like Minnie Witch, which is perfect because Tatiana has chosen to be Minnie Mouse Witch for Halloween this year. So I thought these were really cute. They really just fit in with everything. So since they are exactly the same, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to personalize them on the back and I'm going to write their name. So that is the first thing that I'm gonna do is go ahead and personalize these with their name. I'm gonna go ahead and put some masking tape on here just to guide me where I wanna be so that it's not like all lopsided and everything. I want it to kind of be as straight as possible. It's not gonna be perfect, but this is definitely gonna help me out. Then I'm gonna go in with my Sharpie. All right, so I just made a little strip there. It's not even really that straight, <laughs> but it's gonna work. And then in between there, I will write her name. All right, got number two taped. Let me get some tea. All right, I got Ava done. All right, so I have Tati, I have Ava. All right, so now that is done. I can move on. I'm gonna use some of this filler. All right, so what I did, I went ahead and add in this filler. Add a piece to both of those. Everything that we're working with. I went ahead and got my buckets filled up. I put some filler and then I put some of this shredded right on top. So first I'm gonna go in with the big stuff in the back. I'm just gonna keep playing with it until I like it. So I'm liking how that is looking so far. Boo basket number one is done. Oh, I almost forgot. And to top them off, I ordered these little boo sticks. I'm gonna add those. So because this book is extremely big, I'm gonna go ahead and use those stickies to kind of help me keep it in place.
All right, you guys, so this is the finished product here. This is boo basket number one. We have Minnie the Vampire, and then we also have basket number two with Minnie the Witch. I think they turned out really cute. are done i think they turned out adorable my girls are going to be very happy to receive these if you enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and we will see you in the next one <music>